Philip K. Dix, the game players of Titan, blend science fiction with psychological exploration, creating a complex narrative that delves into human identity, freedom, and the power dynamics of a dystopian society. The novel is set in a post-apocalyptic future where Earth is under the control of an alien race known as the Vugs from Titan. These Vugs have assumed dominance over humanity, not through military force but by manipulating societal structures through a strange game called Bluff, which determines ownership of land, cities, and even people. The human population, decimated by sterility, has become increasingly detached from its former sense of autonomy, and reproduction is a privilege controlled by the Vugs. The game itself is central to the novel, functioning not just as a metaphor for power, but as a literal mechanism that shapes the social hierarchy. Human players, most notably Pete Garden, find their lives dictated by the outcomes of bluff, with their marriages and properties continually in flux. The stakes are not merely material but existential, as losing in the game means losing one's status and purpose. Garden's personal struggles, particularly with his grief over his dead wife and his addiction to drugs, reflect the broader disillusionment of a humanity reduced to pawns in an alien scheme. One of the key themes in the novel is the loss of personal agency. Humanity's subjugation to the Vugs is not the result of overt violence but rather the subtle manipulation of their desires and ambitions. The rules of bluff, designed by the Vugs, dictate every aspect of human life, including reproduction, which has become a desperate and rare occurrence. This sterile world reflects a deep existential crisis, as the ability to create new life is tied to meaning and legacy. For the human players, winning bluff offers a temporary sense of control, but it is an illusion since the Vugs are always in ultimate command. The game is rigged in a way that no one, human or Vug, can fully escape its control. Psychologically, the novel delves into themes of paranoia and identity. Pete Garden's interactions with other characters, such as the telepath Joe Schilling and the mysterious Lord Running Clam, reveal a world where the boundaries of self and other are constantly questioned. The presence of telepathy and precognition further destabilizes individual autonomy, as characters are unable to hide their thoughts or intentions. This blurring of mental boundaries mirrors the broader theme of control within the novel. Just as the Vugs control humanity, the individual's mind is not entirely their own. This creates a pervasive sense of unease and distrust, where motivations and loyalties are always in question. Dick's exploration of mental illness is another significant element in the novel. Pete Garden's instability, his reliance on drugs, and his obsession with the past suggest a man struggling with more than just external pressures. His psychological state reflects the broader trauma of a world that has lost its future. The sterility of the human race and the randomness of the game leave the characters in a perpetual limbo, unable to find lasting meaning or stability in their lives. Garden's breakdowns and moments of clarity throughout the novel highlight the fragile balance between sanity and madness in a world where reality itself seems untrustworthy. The alien Vugs are not depicted as purely antagonistic but are rather portrayed as curious, even benevolent in their manipulation of humanity. However, their ultimate goals remain unclear, adding another layer of ambiguity to the novel. The Vugs' control is both overt and hidden, reflecting Dick's recurring theme of a reality that is constantly shifting, where the nature of power and authority is never fully understood. The novel leaves readers questioning the true nature of freedom in a world where the illusion of choice is omnipresent, yet the structures of control are deeply embedded. In the end, The Game Players of Titan is a complex meditation on power, autonomy, and the human condition. It challenges the notion of free will by presenting a world where individuals are caught in a game they cannot control, manipulated by forces both alien and psychological. The novel's bleak vision of the future serves as a critique of both political and personal systems of control, leaving readers to ponder the fragility of freedom and the often insidious nature of power.